This is Jack Jackson again. We're going to look at a summary comparison of the difference quotient, symmetric difference quotient, and derivative. Okay, and so this table here is going to give a side-by-side -side comparison of these basic features of these different, uh, these three different things, their definitions algebraically, and how to interpret them. And uh, this is very, very important. It uh, summarizes what we've done in the previous videos leading up to this point, uh, when we're leading up to the derivative basic concepts, and you should memorize this for my class. So the difference quotient is simply the slope formula. The derivative is defined as the limit as delta x approaches zero of the difference quotient. We can approximate the derivative with either a difference quotient or better yet, a symmetric difference quotient. And before we're, below, we're thinking of A as a fixed x value point, and H is some small distance. Okay? So, first of all, here's the first part of the table. The algebraic definition, f of A plus f of H uh, minus uh, f of A plus H minus f of A over H, that is the difference quotient. Notice here that H represents delta X, and so that is the difference quotient, and it's really just the, just the slope formula. Okay. The, the symmetric difference quotient is F of A plus H minus F of A minus H over 2H. This time 2H is the delta X, and the numerator then is delta F or delta Y, the vertical change. Now the derivative, you just take the difference quotient formula, and take the limit as h goes to zero. And that's the derivative f prime of a. Now, um, it's also true that if you take the limit as h goes to zero, the symmetric difference quotient, you're going to get the same limit, uh, provided both limits exist. Now let's see what this means graphically. So here we see in, in a graph what's going on, and down below in words what's happening uh, describing the graph. So the, we have a point of interest, the blue point A, F of A, and we go to a nearby point, A plus H, F of A plus H. So we move over to the right or left by a value H. If H is positive, we're moving to the right. If H is negative, we're moving to the left. We find the Y value for that point. So we take an X value of A, move to the left or right to the new point T, which is A plus H. Find the F of that, A plus H and that gives you the y value of that green point. So now we have two points. Find the slope between those two points, or in other words, the slope of that green secant line. So the difference quotient is the slope between two points on the graph, in other words, the slope of a secant line to the curve, where one of those points is this blue point right here, which is the fixed point of interest. The symmetric difference quotient is very similar. We take our blue point of interest, but this time we don't use it in the formula for the slope, we go to the right and the left by a value h to get an orange and green point equally spaced horizontally on either side of the point, but not uh, one of them being the point, and then find the slope between those two points, in other words, the slope of that orange secant line. So that is the slope between two points on the graph, in other words, the slope of a secant line to the curve, but this time the two points are equally to the right and left of the point of interest. The derivative is the slope of the graph at a fixed point, at a single fixed point of interest. In other words, it is a slope of the tangent line to the curve at that single point of interest. When we do this physically in context, physical, maybe I could say contextual interpretation, it's the average rate of change in the function over the interval, with one end of the interval being the point of interest. The, that's for the difference quotient, and the symmetric difference quotient is the average rate of change in the function over the interval, but the endpoints of the interval on either side of the point of interest. And the derivative is the instantaneous rate of change in the function at a single point. So in our example that we looked at, uh, um, the difference quotient and symmetric difference quotient were both average speeds, and the derivative was the instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity. Or these were average velocities over here for these two, and this was the instantaneous velocity. That's one example. So that little table there gives you a nice uh, summary of 
what we have done in terms of the definitions, the actual algebraic formula definition, and then also uh, graphically what's going on, both via picture and words, and then uh, physically what's going on in the context of a real world problem. So that's a nice little summary right there of the, the basic definitions and definitely that needs to be completely learned and mastered and, and uh, memorized.